Here we're going to show you how to use a CPP and H files along with your INO sketch. So give you better organized code. So if we right click on the project and go to the add menu, you'll see there's some add empty INO, uh, sorry, CPP and header file options at the bottom. And you can also use the new item option and then select the CPP and header file if you need them in a subfolder within your project. So here we're just going to give it the awful name of CPP code. And then this automatically creates a header file with the includes you need to allow Arduino to function correctly. So you'll be able to access all the usual digital write methods and so on in your C++ code. So first we're going to take the functions from our INO and move those into the CPP file. And then we're going to need to copy the declarations of those functions into our H file as these are the prototypes for them. So this is all automatically done for you in the INO, whereas when you start moving it out to standard C++, you will have to declare the prototypes yourself in the H file. And this just keeps things neater. Now, when we added the files, Visual Micro added the include to the H for us. And if we navigate around with F12 now, we can still see that everything's linked together and available. So it's as simple as that really. Um, but this now allows you to divorce your code out into separate modules and it makes it easier to organize a larger program than in a number of INO files.